In this video, I'll be briefing you on the must-have Skyrim mods for the second week of June 2024, with a special focus on the latest releases in animation-related mods. First up is Ultimate NPC Dodging. This mod utilizes RPG elements to design NPCs' dodging abilities based on individual skills and traits. Unlike other dodging mods, Ultimate NPC Dodging enables NPCs to evade various attacks. NPCs can choose between a dodge roll or a sidestep to avoid attacks. While sidestepping is more common, the dodge roll is restricted to characters with the silent roll perk in the stealth tree. Moreover, NPCs can dodge nearly all types of attacks by considering factors such as distance, attack angle, and line of sight. They can also close in on enemies, flank them, or retreat from danger. This mod aims to make NPCs dodge more realistically enhancing the gameplay experience and making it more engaging for players. Next up is the MCO Combat Animations Red Queen DMC4. This mod introduces animations that utilize the Red Queen sword from Devil May Cry 4. It allows players to experience the combat style of Nero, the protagonist of DMC4. A key feature is the replication of the Exceed style effects, characteristic of the Red Queen, enabling more powerful attacks. Additionally, the mod offers dynamic effects and combat experiences, such as pulling enemies into the air for attacks, charging the sword during normal attacks, and executing stronger strikes. Although this is a paid moveset, and I recommend careful consideration before use, the exceptional quality of the motions makes it a noteworthy addition that I felt compelled to share with you. Next up is the Walking Stick, Walk with Staves or Pole Arms mod. This mod utilizes immersive equipment displays to add new nodes, enabling animations that allow players to carry magic staves or two-handed weapons in either hand. The weapons are only displayed in hand when actually equipped and can be used when the character is swimming, sitting, riding, or using furniture. Notably, this mod offers a more immersive and realistic experience as players explore the world of Skyrim especially appealing to those playing as wizards or heavily armored knights. Now, you can traverse Skyrim with pole arms and staves in a more natural and engaging manner. Next up, introducing vanilla eating animation fixes, a compact mod designed to address a long-standing issue that has troubled Skyrim players. This mod enhances the dining experience by animating NPCs' mouths and showcasing their chewing during mealtime animations preventing them from appearing to stare blankly at you. Additionally, it corrects the excessively low sound volume and temporarily disables head tracking during meals, ensuring NPCs don't unnaturally turn their heads to stare at you while chewing. This mod offers a small yet significant improvement that heightens immersion by displaying NPCs' realistic mouth movements and chewing actions. In this segment, We'll introduce a few creature-related mods for Skyrim. First up is Mihail's Frogs. This mod adds small, harmless frog creatures to Skyrim's lakes and ponds, enhancing the game world with more life and immersion. Typically, these creatures will flee upon encountering the player. The mod introduces a total of four frog varieties and includes new food items such as frog legs and fried frog legs, further diversifying Skyrim's ecosystem. Next up is the Lesser Ice Golem. This mod adds to the game an Ice Golem, a massive and intelligent construct created by the ancient Nords. These golems are made of pure ice and are animated by powerful magic long forgotten. They possess a formidable punch attack, and their magical prowess is equally terrifying. With their ability to rapidly fire icy spikes, encountering these creatures will definitely keep you on your toes. Boasting impressive visuals along with their potent damage, this mod promises to make your Skyrim experience even more dynamic. Next up, we have the Torch Wielder Draugr's mod. This mod allows Draugr's in the game to carry torches and light up braziers and wall sconces throughout the dungeons. Players will now occasionally encounter Draugr's holding torches, who will actively light up braziers and wall sconces, enhancing the dungeon's ambiance. This mod promises to deliver a fresh experience in the Nordic tombs of Skyrim and Solstheim, contributing to a new atmospheric feel in the game's dungeons. In this segment, 
We'll explore mods related to visuals. First up is Gigi's Temple of Kinnereth. This mod is a lightweight visual enhancement for the Temple of Kinnereth located in Whiterun of Skyrim. It requires Mandragora Sprout's Statue of Kinnereth as an essential element. Adjusting the temple's base to fit better and utilizing birds as independent assets. The mod enriches the Temple of Kinnereth in Whiterun with an abundance of flowers, vines, and of course, the statue itself, transforming the place into a more wild yet beautifully reminiscent garden, significantly enhancing the sanctuary's splendor. Next up is Cabbage Plant, a cabbage mod add-on. This mod aims to make cabbages in the game look more realistic. Building upon the original cabbage mod created by creators Christay and W. Skeever, this add-on enhances the cabbages by replacing them with improved models in farms and gardens. It's likely the perfect choice for Skyrim players who want to add an extra touch of realism to their cabbages. If you believe that attention to small details enriches the gaming experience, then this mod is definitely worth trying out. Next up is the Higher Poly Vanilla Oil Lamp Trap mod. This mod reconstructs the in-game oil lamp traps with a higher polygon count, offering visually enhanced models. It includes only mesh replacements and does not require any plugins or ESP files. Therefore, it is compatible with existing texture replacement mods and the Embers XD mod, enhancing the flame effects of the lamp traps. This mod is recommended for players who seek to increase the visual immersion of the game. Lastly, I'd like to introduce two outfit-related mods. First up is the Ashtoreth Maya Instinct Killer. This mod adds a female armor set that features a striking combination of gold and black, reminiscent of elven designs. The golden sheen is particularly beautiful, and the ornamentation at the center of the chest is quite attractive. It accentuates the female body line while fitting seamlessly into the Skyrim atmosphere, making it an outfit that will surely enhance the appearance of your female characters. Next up is Peltso Plenty, Fur Pelt Cloaks. This mod introduces new fur pelt cloaks to the game. It is designed for both male and female characters, offering cloaks with lush, physics-enabled fur. Players can craft these cloaks at the tanning rack, choosing from a variety of animal pelts such as bear, fox, and wolf, enhancing immersion and providing a way to diversify and realistically adorn your character's appearance. Thank you for watching today's video featuring the must-have new Skyrim mods for the second week of June 2024. If you found these mods exciting and helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, and enable notifications to stay updated with our latest uploads. Make sure to grab these fantastic mods to elevate your Skyrim gameplay to new heights. Stay tuned for more awesome content. And until next time, happy modding and happy adventuring.